We're here with Spinks' newest recruit, Cam Moore, after a 3-2 victory against his old side, Loughborough Dynamo. Cam, we can hear from the music that the celebrations are in uh, full swing. How much does a win mean against not only the fourth place team in the league, but against your old side? Yeah, absolutely massive in all honesty. Like You can see how much it meant to the lads at the end of the game. It just meant so much to us. We proper dug in. It was a massive result. They've only lost here a couple times this season, so to come here and get three points is just huge. And obviously. On a personal note for me, that playing against my old side, it's just buzzing to come back and kind of show what you can do against them as well. So yeah, all positive. Well, really, yeah. well your first start for Sphinx today, uh, you're not coming in. Uh, against your old team, is it, was there any sort of trepidation knowing that your first start's coming against your old team or was it more of a, a motivating factor? I think it was more of a motivator, I mean I know how good they are, um, they're a top side, I mean the league position shows that, got a lot of quality, you can see it today that the quality and they're really good at home. So I think for me it was just more of a motivation to come and, and show what I can do and show all the lads as well to show what we can do, we need to believe in ourselves more because we are a good team. Good team. The league position that we're in is probably a bit of a false position and we've got to start proving that now and picking up the points that we deserve. Well, some great resilience on show. Two wonder goals from Lopper, but Spinks were not to be denied. What was the, uh, the thinking between the front three knowing that there's not a lot we could do about the goals going in, we just got to go out there and score more than that? Yeah, I think it was a case of we knew we could cause them problems. Um, Shippo's quality today caused their back line a lot of issues and I think if with me and Ash just trying to play off him and Jordan as well, you could see we could get a lot of joy in. It was just to carry on believing that like, you know they've got quality, you know they're going to get chances and probably score a couple of worldies and it's about just carrying on going after that and, and do, knowing what you can do on the pitch, so no, we think we did that well. Well, seeing the belief from this, uh, this side today, um, coming up with yes, a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, that's, that's your new manager right there. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, the belief of the side, was it what you expected coming in? I think so, yeah, I think so. Like, we prepared really well, we had a good session on Thursday and uh, we worked really hard on it and we kind of knew what to expect coming in. We know they want to have a lot of the ball, we know they want to pop it about and cause us problems, which they did. Um, but I think we were ready for it and we dealt with it well. We, we won the battle today and I think that's what gave us the edge in the end. Well, how have you settled into your, uh, your new surround? You've only been at Sphinx since, it was last Thursday you signed. Yeah. Um, do you feel that your decision to move to Sphinx has now been vindicated? Yeah, it's brilliant. I've, I've settled in. All the lads have really welcomed me and I get along with everyone really well straight away. And it feels like home to be It feels really good and I'm really happy that I'm here. Well, a big double header coming at the weekend. Obviously, there's going to be a bit of uh, squad management. Are you hoping to uh, get another start and get your first goal? I hope so, yeah, yeah, I hope so. I had a few shots today, I think. If I can get them off a bit sharper, hopefully I can get a goal uh, next game, yeah. So, it's obviously, respect the gaffer's decision, whatever they want to do. But, yeah, looking forward to it again. Got to go again, yeah. And finally, of course, it is only your second game with the team. But the lads in there have been battling all year to try and keep their... Um, heads above water, now there's an 11 point gap, maybe they can start to dream, what's the reaction like in the in the changing room after a performance and a victory like this? Yeah, obviously everyone's buzzing, there's 11 points clearing out of the, of the drop zone, so we're really happy with that, but the job's not done and we've got to keep going, at the end of the day, we're, you can see that we're a good team and we can mix it with the best teams in this league, so there's no reason why we can't just push on from that and keep going now, we've got to think more than just trying to stay up, we've got to think where we want to end up in the, in the league, so yeah. Well, Cam, brilliant performance. Brilliant to have you here at Coventry Speaks. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you very much.